Hi, I'm Stephen Kaplan, and I have introduced many oboe players to body mapping, which is a method for better understanding our bodies and how we use them to move in order to make great music. To achieve the specific sound we want to make in the music, we must find the best movement, a motion that enables us to produce the sound easily and consistently. There are so many possible movement choices involving fingers, embouchure, air, and tongue. Like Goldilocks, we spend time in the practice room trying on these different choices until we find one that feels just right. Sometimes we find a movement that allows us to find more accuracy, better note accuracy, better intonation or timbre, and yet it still doesn't seem precisely right. Perhaps it feels or sounds strained or it's hard to achieve consistently. So even though we've made improvements, we still haven't found the perfect solution to the problem. It's difficult to pinpoint why we can't find the right movement. Sometimes these faulty choices are made because of deep, fundamental misconceptions about how one produces an oboe sound. This is what I describe as mismapping the oboe. The metaphor, you are your instrument, is often used to imply mastery. However, it's not really a useful metaphor. Making you and your instrument one so that you are your instrument is not the goal of body mapping. The instrument is responsible for specific musical functions, mostly acoustical. Body mapping helps you to accurately understand your body as a body, and then to properly map its interaction with the instrument. This interaction of a human with an oboe is a magical blend of mind, body, and matter, physical movement interacting with matter that creates vibration. We then use a variety of means to alter the vibration's acoustical properties in order to create music that reflects an emotional state. If a player has mapped the body appropriately, but has mismapped the instrument, then that player will have trouble making appropriate movement choices. How do we make a sound on the oboe? The most common answer I hear to this question is that we blow air into the oboe. Well, in reality, we do not blow air into the oboe. Unless a reed is inserted into the oboe, you can blow air all day and no sound will be heard. Yes, this seems obvious, but many teachers talk about blowing air into the instrument. They tell their students, to get a better sound, you must blow the air to the bell of the instrument or blow the air to the D key, or blow the air to a point on the floor below the bell. So oboe players create all kinds of excess tension attempting to blow air through the instrument. The reality is that oboists only need to be concerned with how they deliver air to the reed. It's the quality of the air in your mouth that will make a difference in how the oboe sounds. It is true that some of the air you blow goes into the oboe. How else does that annoying condensation get in the octave key? But my point is that this air has nothing to do with creating beautiful music. The only sound it creates is that pesky little gurgle signaling that a key is clogged with water. There is air already in the oboe before you ever blow into it. There is always air in the oboe, the same atmosphere that surrounds each of us all the time. It is this air which carries the sound waves produced by a vibrating reed. These sound waves are then altered by the bore of the instrument and by the movements of our fingers. These waves continue to travel through the atmosphere, reaching the ears as sound. To create a great sound, the oboist must always carefully monitor the air at the reed. In the attempt to blow air at the point away from the reed, to the bell or to the floor, the musician begins to force or overblow. This overblowing has an adverse effect on the oboe sound, as well as creating unnecessary tension in the whole body. A quality oboe sound depends on the quality of air in your mouth. It's our job to find the right air pressure in the oral cavity that will produce a beautiful sound air pressure, 
read vibration, and embouchure work together, creating a resonant and focused sound from the instrument. Many players make the mistake of blowing harder in order to project the sound more, but a well-focused, resonant sound will project at all dynamic levels. Thank you.